Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at Fracture Mod, which is a wonderful and a very simple to use add-on that you can now use directly in Blender to add fractures to your model. Now this is made available by Alberto FX and Alberto FX is also the creator of some of these cool and, you know, lovely add-ons that you probably would want to work with at certain times. Right now he's doing a 50% off. So simply go over to the link in the description and use a coupon code to get 50% off this beautiful screen and also add-ons that he has right here. So with this set, we're simply going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So with Blender simply open, all you need to do to get started is simply go over to edit, go over to preference and install your add-on. Now, once you do that and press N on your keyboard, you would notice that we have a new tab here called physics. Now with that physics tab, all you need to do, you know, literally all you need to do to fracture anything is just select the object and click on generate. And that way you would notice that you have some fractures going on. Right now you can start noticing some patterns and something else which is very beautiful with this is contrary to using things like the cell fracture and you know some other fracture tool this automatically subdivides your mesh so what do i mean if i click down and go over to where we have wireframe automatically you'd notice that it subdivides this mesh and you can choose to increase and also you know you can choose to increase and also decrease the size of your mesh so depending on what you're going for you can actually increase and reduce the size which in turn increases and reduces the subdivision so if you want to add more fracture or more pattern you can simply do this and for those who like to add some thickness you can also use the thickness slider to add some thickness to your fracture and for those who like to get something smooth you can do that and if you need some stone factor you can also play with the stone factor to actually get the most out of it now once this is done all you need to do to get something fractured is by simply pressing the extract button for the most part you can leave this as it is you know depending on the kind of aesthetic design you're going for but if you just simply want to have this as a fractured object you can simply select it and hit on extract and that way you have this as individual piece and all these individual pieces things that you can work with now i know most of you guys would be like okay so now that we have this out of the way how do we actually simulate rigid body and you know simulate some sort of fracturing animation with this and this is a, this is very simple so for this i'm just going to go ahead and throw in a plane and with this plane here we'll would go over to the physics tab so i guess that that's here so we'll go over to the physics tab select the plane and then hit rigid body now the next thing which we need to do is select this object and i would suggest that you select this object before you hit extract so once you're done with all of your modifications and things that you want make sure you select the object first then hit the rigid body to assign this rigid body modifier or the rigid body physics all of that stuff over to this object before you choose to extract so once we have that done we can now hit on the extract button then if we go in and press the playback button you notice that everything actually falls now the reason why everything is falling is because for this particular object which is the plane we didn't specify what we want we want this to be a passive object which simply means that gravity wouldn't affect this so we need to go over here and set this to passive and once we do that and press the playback button you would notice that we have that going now most of you guys might also be like all right so this is beautiful it's nice we love it that's cool what about if we have some sort of animation and we want this animation to drive some stuff and what we can do for that is simple so i'm just going to back up a bit by hitting ctrl z a couple of times so that we can get back to where we were before we hit the extract button so i'm also going to go ahead and select this just to make sure that we have this set to passive and i will select this one one more time so what do we do? What we can do is extremely simple. So I'm going to show you guys an easy way for this particular one. So let's say we go in there and we get ourselves an icosphere and I'm just going to drag this all the way up. And I would like this to actually smash through and, you know, give us some sort of rigid body breakthrough animation, things like that. And how we can actually manipulate this is, uh, is super simple. So for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and select this object and then click right here and say rigid body. Now, once I make this a rigid body, automatically, you know, you already get the idea. If I press the playback button, these two falls. But then I don't want these to fall down. So I'm just going to go over to settings and turn off dynamic. You press the playback button, you notice that nothing actually happens. So contrary to other softwares, there is actually a way that you get to play with this sort of dynamic when you're working in Blender. And how we can do this is extremely simple. So remember, we actually turned on the rigid body earlier. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off and then what we can do is we can go in and turn on the auto key or you can press I on your keyboard and actually keyframe that location. Now, once we do that, we can go over to a frame like frame 40 and bring this all the way down to a point like so. And that is what we have. So if we go all the way back and turn this off and turn on the rigid body, if we press the playback button, 
you notice that this happens but it doesn't go through now the reason why this doesn't go through is because we don't have this set to animated so if you set this over to animated what would happen is we can now have our object go all the way through but it still doesn't break this stuff so how do we make this break this particular object so what we can do next is by simply selecting this object as a whole piece and then remember earlier we actually turned off dynamics and we can actually go in there and turn on a keyframe so for you to turn on this keyframe or keyframe the dynamics what you need to do is you need to actually find the point where this actually touches it so let's say at a point like so so at a point like frame 18 that is where we want to add a keyframe just to make sure that we have no dynamics and then at a point like frame 19 we can actually turn on the dynamics and click right here to add another keyframe so once we do this what happens is between 18 and 19 this would go in and turn on the dynamics now once that is done if we zoom all the way back and bounce this backwards and press the playback button you would now notice that we have this smashing through you might be wondering why is it smashing through and not shattering this remember what we did earlier was just to simply do the dynamics on this particular object and we didn't fracture that so if we now go over here and click on extract we now have all of the properties that we did set on this particular one set across all these other ones and that way it's easy for you to have the rigid body dynamic settings across the entire fracture object so once we go in and press the playback button you now notice that we have the shutter so for those who like to you know play with stuff like this you want to shutter stuff you want to be able to create some very cool patterns and you don't want to go through all of that stress of thinking about how much subdivision is going to be good enough and how you can shutter or what kind of patterns will look good or even doing that external or extra set of modeling then the fracture mode 1.0 from Alberto FX is something that you should consider taking a look at. So link to this is going to be in the description for those who would like to take a look at this. Meanwhile, like I said earlier, everything on his store right now is at 50% off and you can actually take a look at the link in the description and also see the coupon code right there and grab whatever you want from here for 50% off. And that's definitely going to be about it. And of course, I would like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And for sure, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.